What is up, what's up, what is up, FS Club? Welcome back to the channel. Well, today is the day, guys. Today is the day we got some amazing mods. But anyways, on consoles today, we got Dutch Colony, which is a new map. We got the John Deere 1270G, the Decompactor Combine Drigo, the Amazon ZGB 6001, Transport Trailer MD, and yes, the TLX 48-foot enclosed trailer, the Lizard Pack, the Storm 1051 Grain Storm, the OP2000, the Limpkin D24, the Cowshed 3 Plus O, the German Gas Station, Workshop with Machine Storage, Medium Hall, and Doormat. Now console updates for today we got is the No Man's Land, the SIP Pioneer 20, the Bergman HTW65, the Vehicle Hanger Pack, the Big Sheep Shed, Wither Farm Shed Pack, Racking Storage, and Welcome to Oak Hill. So you know what, let's just roll that intro and let's get into these new mods. Here we go. Well, welcome back. As you guys have noticed, we are sticking to console. I did PC for two days. I just didn't like it. But anyways, the first mod to go over today is this one right here. This is the John Deere 1270G, $437,000. It is, let's see, 36 slots. Of course, it is a John Deere. Uh, let's see, horsepower on it is 268 horsepower. Now, options on this one, we got Wilbrand, Trailborg, uh, the Fours, Nokian, and then back to Trailborg. Let's see, we got the Eco Tracks, the Eco Baltic, Magnum, the Kovacs, and then back to Eco Tracks, and then Baltic, and everything like that. Let's see, Nokians, we got Standard, we got Standard, we got Standard, we got a lot of Standards, then another Standard, and then yeah, it just keeps going Standard. Uh, design, we got Standard Rear Protection. So let's go back here, as you guys can see right there. Uh, cab Protection, which puts a protection in the front. We got full protection and then back to standard capacity. We got standard tank, which is, let's see, I think 390 liters. We got additional tank, which is 480 liters of fuel and then back to standard. So let's actually take a look at this one in game. Okay, so here we are and here is the John Deere 1270G. Uh, let's go ahead and put this up real quick. Okay, let's get in it. Uh, what happened? Did something? Yes, the ladder folded up when you went in. Here is the interior, really nice interior. Okay, uh, also got a crane cam. Uh, let's see, cut length, one meter, 1.5 meters, two meters, 2.5, three meters, 3.5, four, four and a half. Oh, that's kind of cool that it actually goes to the half mark on there. So it goes all the way up to 13. Wow, 20, all the way up to 20 meters. Wow, okay. Okay, let's see. So let's zoom that out a little bit. Moves over, right? Yes, me and cranes do not get along. Uh, extension, up, down, and then of course turning it, opening and closing. Okay, it looks like everything works good. Horn, top speed is 14 miles an hour. Uh, let's go ahead and change that over. You also got extra functions, which let's see. I'm trying to see what these extra functions do. Don't see anything yet. I don't know what the extra functions do. Okay, but anyways, uh, let's turn it on. So there it is turning on. See all that lights up. Okay, lights, one, two, three, three sets of lights. It even has a front light right there, as you can see. So really nice. Okay, so that is the John Deere 1270G. Okay, and so the next mod for today is this one right here. This is the Decompactor Combined Drigo. As you guys can see, there is two of them. So this one right here is 16,000, 3.0 working meters, six slots, uh, 305 horsepower is required on this one. And of course, this is a subsoil. Let's see options on this one. There is no options, but it also comes with this, which is $6,000, 3.0 working meters, same as that one. Uh, options though, there is no options, but this combined with this. So this one pretty much, you know, cultivates and plows and then this one right here fertilizes it so you actually get two things with this you get the plowing effect and you also get the fertilization effect that is amazing right there okay and the next one we have for today is a new fertilizer tank under fertilizer technology this is the amazon zgb 6001 it is 15 slots 21,700. let's see 110 horsepower is required on this 18.0 working meters and this does fertilization or it does lime uh, let's see, the capacity is 6,000 liters. Uh, options though, we got Trailborg, we got Michelin, and back to Trailborg. Trailborg, you have standard, you have wide tires, wide tires, wide tires, wide tires. Wow, four wide tires on that one. 
Michelin, you have standard, you have wide tires, wide tires, and then back to standard. Wow, only two on that one? Very disappointed. <laughs> Let's see, design, you have standard, you have type one, which I'm trying to see what that actually does. I don't know exactly what that does. Oh, it puts a grade in there, okay. And then let's see, type two. I don't know what that does either. Standard, okay, let's see, cover, yes or no on that one. So that is the Amazon ZGB6001. Okay, and then after that one we have is this one right here, the Transport Trailer MD. $5,000, 10 slots on this. And of course this is a low loader, so you're able to put anything on this. Uh, let's see, options on this one. Main color, you got red, green, blue, or yellow. Size, eight meters, 10 meters, 12 meters. So I'll go all the way up to 12 meters on this one. And this also, like, it lowers. So it's a lot easier to put stuff on, put a vehicle on, stuff like that. Pretty nice little ideal right there. And then after that, we have something that everybody's been waiting for. This is the TLX 48-foot enclosed trailer. Let's see, it's 21,500, 24 slots on this one. Let's see, options though, we got rim color, any color, design color, any color. So when you change the design color on this one, let's put it red right there. Uh, don't exactly see where it changed. Let me actually do this one. Yeah, I don't know where it changed. Main color, let's see, any color. So let's change this one to green. So of course that changes all of that. Uh, what does that red one change? I don't know. Okay, let's see configuration. You got rigid panels. You got the folding curtains, which I love that. Uh, then we got the back to the rigid pa uh, panels. Let's see, frame style, you got metal, you got painted. Oh, okay, so it changes what the painted one is. Oh, that's pretty nice. That really looks like Christmas colors right there. And then vinyls, you got plain, you got the TLX right back there. You got the A2's Logistics, A2's Lawn Care, the Jack Moose, the John Deere, the Case IH, then back to plain. Floor types, you got wood, which I can't zoom in so you guys can see, but it'll be inside. You got wood, you got diamond plate, steel, and then back to wood. Let's see, wheel setup, you got standard, you got black center caps, you got heavy duty, you got Nokians, you got Nokian heavy duties, and then back to standard. Cargo options though, you got swing doors, you got swing doors plus ramps, so whenever this thing opens, a ramp will come down. Uh, you got roll-up door, you got roll-up door plus lift gate, so there's actually a lift on there. And then you got roll-up door and ramps, and then back to swing doors. Okay, let's actually take a look at this one in game. Okay, so here we are looking at both of these trailers. We have the rigid one right over here, and then we have the curtain one right over here. They are hooked up to the TLX 9000. Amazing truck by 82, by the way. Okay, so let's get in here real quick. We'll take a look at this. So as you see, that is open in the back. All you gotta do is press the LB and A. It should close. Yeah, there we go. So there it is closing right there. And then to open it, LB and A. So there we go. As you see, those lights are actually blinking whenever it's doing that. They're pretty cool. Okay, let's see. How do you lower and let's see. Go all the way up there. There we go right there. So it's actually LB and the right stick over and well, left and right. So there we go right there. So that is that. And then also, since this is a curtain one, you'll be able to do this. Push the LB and then the left directional pad over. And that opens that right there. So that means you're going to be able to put like your pallets and stuff in a lot, lot easier. And you know what? This is going to be good, of course, with those potato pallets with the Grimmy DLC. So that is going to be good. Also, this does have, if I can put these things on here real quick. Okay, I guess you can't put that on there. Oh, there they go. There it is right there. This does have tension belts. So as you guys can see, really nice. Also, if you need to open up the other side, just go right there. That side closes. And this side will open. Well, it should open. There we go right there. So really nice. Then if you need, say, like both sides to be opened, let's go ahead and hit it again. And then guess what? Come on. That side opens and that side opens too. So they all open right there. And then to close it again, you just close the cover. So there we go with that one. So really nice. Okay, let's go over here. Take a look at this one. This is one with ramps. So let's go ahead and hook this thing up. Come on. There we go. So that is all hooked up. So let's press the A. 
There they go right there. And the ramps come out too. So there we go. Look at that. Nice ramps. And this one has the wood right there. As you guys can see, this one is metal. So really, really nice trailers. I've been waiting for something like this for a long time. I've been waiting for this as well, actually on FS 17, I was wishing there was going to be something like this, but it never came. So let's go ahead and close that real quick and look, let's take a look at all the lights. Yeah, this thing lights up. Look at that. All those lights right there. Lights back here. Lights underneath there. Lights up there. So really, really nice trailer. Okay, so on to the next. The next one we have is the Lizard Pack. Let's see, there is two levelers on this one. The leveler 300 and the leveler 400. This one is 3,500, this one is 4,500. Both of them are three meters. Let's see options. We got design color, either red or galvanized. Then grid, we have standard, we have extension, and then back to standard. Let's see for this one. Uh, design color, galvanized, extension. This one looks wider than that one if i'm not mistaken it does look wider okay so that is the lizard pack okay and then the next one is a mod i've been waiting on this is the storm 1051 grain storm by jhhg modding let's see the 72,900, 21 slots holds up to 37,001 liters let's see 225 horsepower on this one options let's see main color you got storm original green storm original red a storm original blue and then Storm Original Black. I like the black though. Rim color, you got Storm Original White, you got Storm Original White Old, and then you got Storm Original Gray. Let's see, Will Brands, we got Michelin, we got Midas, we got Storm Manufacturing, and then back to Michelin. Michelin, you got Wide Tires, Twins, and then back to Wide Tires. Let's see, Midas, Wide Tires, Wide Tires, Wide Tires, and then Wide Tires again, and then back to Storm. Let's see, Design though, we have one, we have two, which puts the Storm on the side, then we have three, really nice. And then we back to one. Let's see, cover, no, or standard. And that is it on that one. Really nice auger wagon. Okay, now on to the next one is this one right here. This is the Lizard OP2000. It is $7,000, 15.0 working meters. It is six slots. Let's see, it holds up to 2,000 liters. And this does liquid fertilizer or herbicide on this one. This is under the crop protection uh, tab. Let's see options though. Main color, we got either white, yellow, or blue, which that changes pretty much the tank. Uh, design color, you got a lot of reds, <laughs> lots and lots of reds, and that changes pretty much the bars and stuff. Uh, let's see, rim color, of course, you guys know what that changes, and a lot of reds on this one too. So that is the Lizard OP2000. Okay, now we're on the last regular mod for today, and this is the Limkin D24. This is under plows. This is $600, 1.0 working meter. Let's see, it has two slots. It does require 10 horsepower, so this is a very small plow. Let's see, options though on this one, there is no options. So that is it of the regular mods for today. Let's go, of course, over those placeables we got today. Okay, and so here we go with the first placeables for today. Let's go under animal pens, and there should be one right over here. Yes, there it is right there. The cow shed three plus, oh, it is $160,000. Holds up to 80 cows, 16 slots, $300 a day on this one. So let's go ahead and place this. This one does snap when you're placing it. So let's go ahead and place that right over there. Uh, really nice, wow. Okay, let's go ahead and see those doors all open. Yes, they do open. Um, let me actually put the help window on just in case I miss something. And I believe this is where you feed them and you put your straw. Where do you get the cows actually though? Okay, open gate right there. So the gates on each side. Uh, let's see, open. Okay, I bet you that is for your slurry. Wow, that moves fast. Okay, then looks like manure right behind here. And then what is over here? Okay, open gates. So, looks like we have another gate over here. Looks like milking chamber. Wow, that's an old milking chamber right there. Okay, open. There it is. So, let's go ahead and buy a few. So, there they go right there. Really nice, though. I like this. Okay, so that is the cow shed 3 plus O. Okay, now let's go to the next one. If we go over here, let's go under miscellaneous. And there it is right there, the German gas station. It is $15,000, three slots, $15 a day. So let's go right and put it right, say right there. Oh, right in front of me. 
Okay, so there we go. We got Super E5, Super E10, Diesel, Diesel Bio. So really nice little gas station right here. And of course you can fill up your vehicles. I wish you can like say like take these handles out and then you actually put it in your tractor and fill it up. That would be a lot better. Okay, now after that one we have is the workshop with machine storage. This is 9,531 slots, so it's a little bit high on that slot count. It is $8 a day on that one. So let's go ahead and place this. This one does have 3 inch degree rotation on this one. So let me find an area where I can put that. Come on, it was green. There we go. So there we go right there, right in front of me. Really nice though, look at that. Doors all open, doors all open, doors all open. So really nice. Okay, so there is that. Is there lights in here? Yes, there is. Uh, make sure that turned on. Actually, I don't see no lights. I just closed the door. Open door. See, it looks like there's a light switch, but I can't press it. Uh, it looks like there's lights right back there, but... Hmm. Maybe they come on automatically? I don't know. Yeah, because that just opens and closes the doors right there. Um, and then we got like a little bit storage area right over here too. So there is also the back of it. So in the back we actually have some more room and then we also have the workshop trigger right there. So nice little workshop. I just got to figure out how to do those lights. I think that might be for decoration. It might just come on automatically at night. Okay, so that is the workshop with machine storage. So let's, so let's go to the next one now. If we go over to, I believe it's under sheds. There it is right there. This is medium hall, which is $50,000, four slots, $5 a day on this one. And with this one, 360 rotation on this one. So let's go ahead and place that one. Need to take that help window off. Okay, so there we go right there. That does not open up. Okay, so here's some storage right there. Does this open up? Yes. Oh, I like the sounds on that. Okay, so like a little storage area. Maybe put some bales in here or pallets in here. Oh, yeah, there it is. That's how that opens up. Okay, so that is the medium hall. Is there a light switch? Maybe. Uh, let me put the help window back up. Yes, the light switch is right there. Okay, so that is medium hall. Let's go to the last mod for today, which I can't really show off on this map because I already have a house. But here it is right here. This is doormat, which is $100 one slot. So basically what you do is put this in front of any house and guess what? That becomes your new sleeping trigger. Okay guys, so that is all the new mods and placeables for today. Of course, we got some updates. So let's go over those updates really quick. Okay, and so now for some updates. The first update for today is for No Man's Land. What did this change? Add a support for upcoming version 1.1.0.0 old production pack by Farmer Menu. Fixed a log issue error and the various optimizations on that one. No new save game is required for that one. Then also we got an update to Welcome to Oak Hill. What did that change? Fixed field info and fixed foliage crop issues on that one. Next one is for SIP Pioneer 20. What did this change? Desk version 53, fixed model, fixed fill volume, new textures, and new tires. So there is for that one right there. The next one, Bergman HTW 65. What did this change? Warning stripes, cover, and lift axle on that one. Then after that one, we have vehicle hanger pack. What did this change on this one? Four shelters with up to five sectors added, gate trigger adjusted added, manufacturer logo adapted, category removed, and textures corrected on that one. Then the next one, the big sheep shed. What did this change? Fixed a bug in XML and LUA issue on lights fixed on that one. Then after that one, the Wither Farms Shed Pack. What did this change? Added snow to rooftops and added collisions to grain storage walls on that one. Then the last one, the Rack and Storage. What did this change? Let's see, adjusted triggers for unloading and loading. So there is all the updates for today. So that right there, guys, is all the new mods, the placeables, and of course, the updates that came onto consoles for today. Let me know in the comment section below, guys, which one was your guys' favorite mod. I'm going to have to say probably either the TLX 48-foot enclosed trailer or the Storm 1051 grain storm. Today's schedule after this video, guys, FS Daily News, but no live streams until tomorrow, which tomorrow I will be on consoles on Welcome to Oak Hill, probably with Sam and maybe Queen. So hopefully you guys all have an amazing rest of your day. Remember, if you guys did like the video, make sure you guys do pound that like button. If you have something, make sure you guys do. And like always, have it all safe, farmers. Peace.